What is going on everyone? It's Andrew here, back at Car Mechanics Simulator 2021, new shop series. This is episode number 21. Uh, customer dropped this off. Uh, he got into an accident with it. Uh, supposedly he was saying that uh, some object came out from the side street and he drove over it. And he said he damaged his bumper, the headlight. And he wants us to get it running as good as we can. Uh, let's tore up on the left here, take a peek see. And while that's going up, let's take a little peek see over here. Last time that you guys saw this, there was no exhaust on it. Now we have a complete full exhaust on it. And I even changed, I got rid of the factory headers, or manifolds I should say. And I went and put some headers on it, as you can see right there. Make it a little shiny shiny. So, and I also put the brake booster in. I put all the fluids in now. So technically we could actually take it and drive it if we really wanted to. But I figure let's wait and we'll get the glass in it, we'll get the lights in it. Uh, that'll either be in this episode or the next one. Not entirely sure yet. Well, looks definitely like this car right here is gonna need a new wheel, that's for sure. Uh, looks like it's gonna need a new cross member, probably a whole new front end by the looks of it. Holy smokes, what did he hit? Hi Karumba. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say he hit it on the left, on the driver's side. His pass or passenger side don't look that bad. Passenger side looks almost brand new. Now maybe we'll get this mm -hmm. off. No, I gotta take the wheel off for that. So, without further ado, let's get started on it. First, actually, you know, let's give it an inspection first, just to see exactly what is going on with it. Yeah, okay, that's gotta have to be changed. All this stuff is gonna have to be changed. Hmm, can we do the brakes from here? No. Let's take a look at the motor, because it uh, honestly looked like the head was going on it too, so. I could be wrong, but it looked like it was anyway. So how's everyone doing today? Everyone having a good day today? Okay. Let's take a look at it. Let's exit out of here. Let's take a look at our list here. Alright, front axle cover, front drive axle C, front steering knuckle A, front suspension cross member, front sway bar, inner tie rod, lower suspension arm, outer tie rod, front sway bar, or sway bar, front end link A. Uh, yeah, and we still got a couple pages here of parts. Which would normally lead me to believe that we now we have possibly engine damage somehow. I don't know how, but because everything looks good on. I we'll probably need a new transmission. Let's see if I can actually inspect that. No. Okay. But what we're gonna do anyway is actually we'll just start by pulling the wheels off, right? Now we are going to have to pull the tranny. I just have that strange feeling. Alright. Uh, we're going to have to take off the sway bar because it has to be changed too. Remember that the good side sway, or the sway bar end length that's good goes on the passenger side and the bad side goes on the driver's side. Alright, let's take this out now. We'll pop the outer tie rod. We'll disconnect the inner tie rod. Take off the sway bar end link. The sway bar. And now the strut assembly. Now let's take this off. Perfect. Pop this bearing out because it's probably going to have to be replaced too, just by looking at the rest of this stuff the pad off, the rotor off, take the hub, ooh the hub must be in not bad shape. So why did the rest of this stuff go? It's one of life's mysteries I guess that we'll never know. I gotta take off that, the bushing, the bushing. I'll take off that bushing too. Probably needs all four of them replaced. 
And before we did anything, what we should have did is we should have dropped the, the starter from it. So, I don't know, I was wrong. The head looks to be good, the motor looks to be not bad. We do have to change the oil filter though, that's for sure. This is just a visual inspection, I'm not entirely sure. Let, let's give it a compression test. Engine can't be started. Wait, well, he said something about the battery, didn't he? Pretty sure he did. Where is it? Oh, right here beside me. Right there. Alright, let's take a peek. See. Yeah, oh yeah, the battery shot. Do we have a battery charger? No, we don't. We need to buy one. But we'll drop a little bit of coin on it right now. There we go. Now let's see if we can get it to. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Ooh, that looks like it has good internals, good compression. Oh yeah, we're good. Internals are 100%. Crankshaft, 100%. Oh, uh, we got one, the lowest piston there is 85%. I can handle it. I can dig it. Alright, we got that. Since we're up here, let's check this out. So we need to replace the air filter at all. But it looks through the box. We're gonna. Have, I'm gonna say no, but you never know. Uh, all right, we don't have to. Cool. Got a few parts left to discover. We got the radiator here by the looks of it. So let's get in here. We'll use our drain tool. We'll drain the coolant out of it so we don't get a fifty dollar fine. It looks like it's already drained out, which tells me that the radiator's probably got a leak in it somewhere and it's already drained out. We've got to take this off, we've got to take that off. Go to inventory. Oh yeah, we've got to replace those too. Uh, let's see, what's this like? Gotta replace that too. Uh, Alright, back up in the air goes, pull the transmission and see what kind of goodies we're left with. Let's see, do we have to change the wheel? Standard tire. And where are you? Rim classic 12. Yeah, okay. That's minor detail. Now we're left with two parts that need to be changed. First things first, let's yank this out of here. Whoop. Oh yeah, I'll be okay tomorrow, don't worry. I'll take that. And we're going to need to replace this and the oil filter. And our list should be complete. We'll bring this over so we can drain the oil. Really? Anything else left in there? Huh. Alright. Let's hop back up under here. Let's take this oil filter out. Huh. I mean, build mode. Hmm. Alright, let's go to here. I'm going to clear that. Back up out of here. We're going to go into here under all. I don't know why I did that, but we're going to go do this now. We're going to go click. Already got the battery, so don't got to worry about that. Everything else looks to be on the up and up. Now, we do need the front shock absorber A. We'll get that right now. We need one of them. One of these. One of those. And we need a sway bar B. And we're also going to need a gearbox. We need a front cross member. Back over to A. And we need a coolant reservoir. 
Foil filter. Gearbox. Rubber bushings. Now, since we're, we already took them all off, we're going to need eight. I'm a stickler for putting all the new bushings back in when I take something out. Perfect. We need a front steering knuckle, axle cover, brake disc ventilator. We need one of them. Brake pads, brake caliper, lower suspension arm, front drive axle C, outer tie rod, inner tie rod. And we don't need a sway bar, if I believe I already purchased it, so let's let that one sit. We're going to look at our inventory. Uh, yep, we already bought it. Perfect. We start assembling everything. Start by putting in the cross member. Put in all new bushings. Come on, Bushing. I got it, right there. It takes skill to do that, you know. Got the other Bushing over here. I'll throw in the lower control arm. Which is not going to be the new one, it's going to be the old one. But we're still putting new Bushings in anyway. And we'll come over to this side now, where all the work seems to be needing to be done. I'll uh, put the sway bar in uh, first, I guess, in your tie rod. Sway bar. Uh, transmission. I'll throw this piece in. I'll put this in. And where we're at now is we finish doing this. I guess I should go assemble the strut. That's a handy dandy little machine here, I tell you. Saves me a bunch. Actually, let's put this wheel. Oh wait, we need to put in the end link first. Which is 92%, so it's good for a bit. Now we can work our way over to the other side. Pew! Fast like lightning. <gasps> uh oh. I did do that, didn't I? Oh no, okay. Three bar in link A. 100%. Perfect. I swear it's like it automatically knew, but one had to go where? down just a little bit so we can see. Did I buy two sway barring links? I can't remember. Oh that's not gonna be good. I screwed up. This is what I was talking about. For instance this, this a hundred percent. If I were to put leave that like that, it would still say, even though it's a good one, it would still say, nope, not good enough. We want the 100% on that side, not the 92%. It's picky like that. Do this. Put in the outer tie rod. Put in the brake rotor, the pod. Oh yeah, okay, perfect. Now we need the wheel. What size wheel is it? 215, 45, 17, rim classic 12, and a standard tire, if I'm not mistaken. Rim classic 12, standard tire. So we need a 17 inch wheel.
Classic 12. Class, there it is, right there. You want one of these? 17. And then tire was standard. 2, 15, 45, 17. 215, which is the width of it. This is the height of it. The side wall, the width, and the wheel size. Perfect. Let's go assemble that. It is actually a nice shaped car, that's for sure. We need a bumper and a headlight for it, I believe as well, so we'll work on that next after we get the suspension up back together on it well, that was a nice little fix there there we go alright, what next we have the coolant reservoir the radiator, the fans Front bumper, front left fender, front license plate, and left headlight. Okay. So, we shall go here, here. We need the front bumper, the left fender, the left headlight, and the license plate. There it is. I wonder if I can... Oh yeah, cool, I can. Nice, look at that. Killing two birds with one stone. Huh. My dad's initials, JJ. F. Cool. Alright, well, oh, wrong thing. That's done. All we're gonna do now is put fresh oil in, spray it factory color. And because we put a new headlight in, we pulled the front end apart, we gotta give it an alignment. And we're gonna do a headlight alignment, we gotta change brake fluid and coolant level which obviously because we took the coolant tank out so and the radiator now what was it? brake fluid okay so we'll come up over here with our beautiful su suction syringe empty that out and we'll put the new tank in, or reservoir as they call it. I call it a coolant tank, but I'm wrong. Assemble this. Perfect. Now we fill it. We'll start with the oil. Give that a nice little top up. Or fill it actually, because we ended up draining it to put whatever was left to put the uh, oil filter in. Check it. Make sure we're up on level. Perfect. We're at the max line. Fill this up to. Huh. Really? Nah. We're gonna fill it up a bit more because it's gotta be pressurized to the system. That'll do it. It'll work out, mate. I'll fill it up with brake fluid. Good. What we got left? Uh, factory color and headlight and wheel line it. So let's go to the test path and we'll get the headlight and wheel alignment done. Holy! What did he hit? Look how bad out the rear is. Perfect. I'm going to do the headlights. Look at this, the left side. Yep. Wow. What did he hit? He said something came out from the side street. And he must have ran it over. Yeah, bud. I think he did run it over. Alright, bring it over to the paint shop. We'll come over here. 
pink car. Go over here where it says, ooh, that's actually a nice color. And we is done. Pretty sure we are anyways. Just, oop, wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess we gotta put the starter in, huh? I always keep a starter in my pocket. You never know. Perfect. I was sitting here looking, and I noticed that we have a, a pick em up truck with an exhaust. Hmm. I actually want to find me a pick em up truck. I'll bring this over to garage entrance A. Perfect. Now we'll send the customer a phone call, let him know that his car is ready for pickup. That was fast, didn't even see it. Pay this nine grand for it. So let's work on this for the remaining. We need lights. Glass. Let's go a little aftermarket here, shall we? Let's put these headlights in. And we'll put these tail lights. And then we've got to put all the gloss in. That window, that window, that window. I got the left mirror, I need the right mirror. Perfect. What color should I paint it? Hmm. Decisions, decisions, always a decision. Alright. Just need the license plates now. Ah, let's go Ontario. That's where I'm from. Perfect. We'll put one on the back. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. We are officially finished building this car. But we're not done because now we got to go bring it for paint. What color was it? Factory black? Yes, it was. Look at that. Cool. Let's look at it in the sunlight now. Whoo! Smoking. Nice little bit wider tires on the rear than factory. Looks good. It's the way a Chevelle should look. Awesome. Alright guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Make sure you turn that bell to all so that we can get all the newest and up, up to date factors and i hope you all catch you all in the next one have a good one bye